And we have more breaking news, this time out of Washington, where the Supreme Court nominee, Ketanji Brown Jackson, now will get at least one Republican vote for her confirmation. Senator Susan Collins will vote to confirm Jackson. Democrats have the votes to secure without GOP support, but leadership is eager for a bipartisan confirmation. NBC's Garrett Haig joins me now from Capitol Hill. What's the latest, Garrett? Leadership in the White House wanted a bipartisan confirmation, and they'll get one. This comes after just, uh, Judge Jackson met with Susan Collins for a second time yesterday afternoon. Uh, Senator Collins says they went over some of her testimony in the Judiciary Committee uh, hearings she had more questions for, and she said she liked some of Judge Jackson's answers, and she said she didn't like some of Judge Jackson's answers. But the way she views confirming judges is not that they agree with you on everything, but that you think they are qualified and will do the job well. Well, Susan Collins has determined uh, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson fits that bill. Now, there's a small universe of potential additional Republican votes out here. Lisa Murkowski voted for Judge Jackson's confirmation to the circuit court last year. She's not said how she would vote, but she has also met with Judge Jackson. There's a handful of retiring senators or folks like Mitt Romney or Bill Cassidy who've crossed party lines on some big votes in the past, but are, are probably a little bit more conservative. So, Chris, I think while this is important to give this a bipartisan uh, a character now in this final vote. It also provides a little bit of insurance for Democrats. It's 2022. People miss Senate hearings for COVID. They miss for other reasons. This gives just that tiniest bit of cushion on a 50 vote threshold to have that one more vote that Democrats know they'll actually need to get Judd Jackson across the finish line.